Hey guys, we come out to do another video on a completely different water. No fishing from the life. You've got a really nice slow trot here. So on that, that's a little close to what we're doing. We're just trying a little stick float. Um, what I've been doing while well, I've been setting stuff up on the bank is just uh, firing a few maggots out. I'm going to try and trot it sort of between mid and far bank. Um, hopefully, we get some chub and possibly possibly some nice days some roach and things along the way but there's only one way to find out what we're going to catch and that is uh did actually have a cast with some bait on didn't it yeah. see if i got my float weighted properly absolutely perfect just pip down just run that in gently and then uh, we'll start fishing I'll be back when I catch something. Okay guys, I had a few glides through and absolutely nothing. So what I did, well like maybe it's deeper than I thought, because it definitely looks deep, it's really dark now, but I don't know what this is. But it's taking some line. I can only expect it to be a, a big chub. Is it a big chub? This has come all the way from under that tree down there. All the straight upstream. Muffed him up. It's coming back down again. So what I think now is maybe I'm just scraping bottom and these fish were just hanging there so I was expecting the fish to move up in the water with the maggot spraying down but uh, it is fairly cold oh is it oh it's a barbel I've got a barbel <laughs> I've never had one trotting before see we can't see it hang on It's not a big one, but it's a barbel. Come on, gently does it, gently does it. I got him in the net. I'm not going to slip him in key back now. Oh, he's not happy now. Anyway, I'll get him up the bank. Okay, this guy's been fighting me on the bank. He's still fighting now. <laughs> It's not a huge fish, but it's the first barbel I've ever had trucked in. <laughs> Chill out. I never caught one on a stick float before. And I'd say that was a good start, don't you? <laughs> it's probably about a foot, three pound, maybe three and a half pound, but uh, I'm happy with that. Beautiful fish, like. Gorgeous. I miss barbel, you know. <laughs> I miss catching them. I've been too, uh, I've been too into me pie fishing. Uh, I've truly missed out here on the winter sport of catching barbel so uh, I'm not going to put him in keep net so I know the fins get damaged really easy in there so uh, I'm going to rest him in net send some more bait down and uh, we'll let him go right whoa you <laughs> chill out Oh, he wants to stay in net. <laughs> Away, mister. There you go. Oof, gone. Okay, guys, so um, I'm about to pack up now. Uh, air temperature's dropping a lot, you can probably tell. Uh, getting a bit chilly down here. I did have another hit, uh, well, a take, or a float, or a bite, I don't know what to say. Yeah, we had a bite and uh, I struck it. He zipped some line out zzz, zzz, and then come off. And then after that, he just went completely dead. Nothing, not a bite afterwards. I've only come out for a, an hour or two this evening anyway. Uh, but that was a bit gutting. You could have had two fish on bank. So anyway, this is the float I've been using, stick floating. It's a, it's a basic spigot float in a, uh, in a four number shot, four number four shots. Um, yeah, does the work on here. Um, I was also doing work here back in summer. We were fishing on my local uh, stretches of river for the chub and roach. It's watching me line, fucking going everywhere. Um, yeah, so it's been all right. I've had a barbel. I've not had a barbel for months. Uh, so uh, yeah, I can't complain of that. Quite happy that I caught a fish. So I'm going to call it quits there. 
and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Probably be a big pike one. So anyway, see you then. Goodbye.